Imagine waking up to find that 230 million dollars of investors fund have vanished into thin air. That's exactly what happened just over a month ago when hackers pulled off one of the biggest heists in India's crypto history targeting the exchange, Wazirx. Now, Wazirx is pointing fingers not at their own systems, but at their wallet service provider, Liminal Custody, claiming they were the weak link in this massive breach. Wazirx claims are based on an independent forensic analysis conducted by Mandiant Solutions, a subsidiary of Google and a respected name in cybersecurity. According to their preliminary finding, there was no compromise in Wazirx's IT infrastructure. Instead, the hack seems to have originated from Liminal with evidence of a breach found on three laptops that were used for signing transactions. This revelation is significant because it suggests that the fault may not lie within Wazirx's own operations, but rather with a third-party service that was supposed to help secure their assets. However, a detailed report is still pending and until its release, the full extent of the breach remains somewhat unclear. Liminal Custody, however, isn't accepting these accusations without a fight. They have challenged the scope and methodology of Mandian's investigation, hinting that the forensic analysis might not have been as thorough as it should have been. Liminal has also claimed that their own preliminary order show no breach in their front-end system which adds another layer of complexity to this entire situation. Now, given that Liminal was responsible for safeguarding five out of the six keys used in Wazirx's transactions, these conflicting narratives raise serious questions about the security measures in place and where exactly the vulnerabilities lay. The breach itself, which occurred on July 18th, 2024, is one of the largest virtual digital asset thefts in India's history. It's an event that has sent shockwaves to the crypto community, raising urgent questions about the safety of digital assets. Wazirx, despite its popularity and large user base, found itself exposed to the same kind of vulnerabilities that have plagued other exchanges in the past. The incident has highlighted the need for more robust security measures in this rapidly expanding VDA sector, where the stakes are incredibly high. But the controversy didn't stop with the hack. In the aftermath, Wazirx proposed a loss sharing plan suggesting that the $230 million loss be distributed among its users. This idea, which is unprecedented in the Indian crypto space, was met with immediate backlash. Users and experts alike criticized the proposal, arguing that it's grossly unfair to expect customers to pay for a security lapse they had no control over. The idea that users should bear the financial burden of a company's failure to protect its assets has been widely condemned and this has only added to the growing mistrust in the exchange. This incident has not only shaken confidence in Wazirx but also sparked broader concerns about the security and reliability of digital assets. The breach serves as a stark reminder that while VDAs offer lucrative opportunities, they also come with significant risk and the need for stronger safeguards has never been more apparent. As the investigation continues, all eyes will be on the detailed findings and the steps that Wazir X and Liminal take to address this monumental breach.